Hello. Uh, as you know, in the new version of Odoo 30, there is a rental application. So here I will show you the demo with the rental application. So uh, here you can see the rental. So basically this is the new view uh, added in the version 13. This is the Kanban view and it is uh, improved. So uh, in the left side you can see the rental status uh, and the invoice status. So you can directly filter based on the status. If you click on the quotation, quotation sign, then uh, the item will be uh, filtered based on that status. Okay. <coughs> So now basically here we, ha here we have a certain uh, menu like order, customer, deliver, return, product, schedule, reporting and configuration. Okay. Uh, now here the main important thing is uh, in the rental, in new rental application basically uh, the sales order is used over here. So you can see the same, uh, same view as uh, the sales order in the existing system. Okay. So now, uh, the first of all, uh, before start, what we have to we have to create some products. So here you can see some of the products already created. Uh, those are can be rented. So here you can see the by default filter added can be rented. On each product, you can see this uh, field. So if you have a list of product and if you want to make some of the products as a can be rented, then you can just choose the option on the product like a can be rented. Okay, so then after you can be able to uh, give this product as uh, on a rent. Okay, so here we have already meeting room is uh, can be rented. So now let's go to the orders and uh, create the one order. So basically, when customer comes uh, either uh, uh, either uh, by any inquiry, the customer wants some products that on the rental basis then at that time we are just going to record the order for the customer so let's assume uh, any customer uh, like uh, this one and he wants some product so here uh, can add a product that we are going to give on a rent so here uh, the customer want a meeting room so once we choose the product which are can be rented we can see the new pop up here uh, that will just give us the more information like a date range and the quantity and the unit price of the <coughs> room so uh, here you can see when you select the product you can see the new view added over here so first of all you have to uh, give the start date like uh, from when you are going to uh, give this product as on rent so let's assume from the 27 we want to give this product as a rent so we can choose these 27 then after you can see on mouse over you can see the selection over here so that will just give you the list of the days uh, for which you want to give this product as on rent so let's assume uh, from 27 he want to uh, want this product till 9 uh, September then uh, just choose this one and apply the filters so based on that the days will be calculated so here you can see the total 30 days uh, he want this meeting room as on rent so the price will automatically calculated over here and the quantity one they want okay and we can add after adding the product uh, rent product the normal process as you are doing in the sales order okay now save and once everything is okay you can just confirm the this one okay. after the confirmation you have to deliver this product to customer so customer comes to your site and uh, uh, collect the uh, key or uh, like uh, in this case we have a meeting room so he just collect the keys and in the rest of the cases like a furniture or anything then he can we have to deliver that particular furniture to the customer site so basically here uh, the meeting room so here we have option to deliver now at the same times if I go back to the rental order so new order has been uh, here it is it reserved so I can just filter out and I can see in the result now the same times I have to deliver this product to uh, my customer so I can see under the deliver 
I can see this uh, orders that have to deliver. So basically, the filter say to do today. Okay, so it will show by default as the two days uh, to deliver orders. If I remove the filter rank, I can see this uh, order, and you can see the on the twenty seventh August, the custom uh, we have to deliver this uh, product to our customer. Okay, receiver. Now we are able to deliver, so we can just deliver, and we here we can again check the quantity at the uh, time of uh, deliver. We can validate the deliver. Okay, well, that means the product has been delivered to the customer on that particular day. Okay, now in the same uh, product you can see in the schedule. So here you can see the number of orders, confirm the orders, or you can remove the orders, and you can see that in every product. So here the meeting room. So you can easily know that from the twenty third, the item has been reserved for this particular customer. Okay. Now if I switch to next month, and you can see the meeting room till the ninth uh, September, the product has been reserved. So for the very next order, we uh, we can easily know that uh, the room is already occupied, and I can only allocate this room after ninth uh, September. Okay, so this dual uh, uh, is useful in this kind of the cases. Now again, let's go to uh, deliver uh, return. Now let's assume for particular uh, after the particular timing, the customer had delivered this product to us. So we can see that uh, this product, and once we just uh, not this one because the date is not there, so that status is not in the reserved, but it is still in the delivered. So whenever we are receive back the same product. Then we can just uh, click on the return, and we can just update the quantity on that. Okay. Uh, so it is. Uh, you can see the return uh, the document. So this is the how you can do the simply uh, rental application. You can use now at the same time. If I go to the products, and I will just show you some of the configuration. When you just activate the can be rented, you can have uh, this uh, new uh, tab where you can define the uh, based on the number of days the uh, price uh, being decided over here. So this is the one kind of the price list. So you can decide like uh, for one day this much amount, for seven days, for fourteen days. You can just we have this kind of the uh, pricing. Okay. Also having the facility to delay cost, so delay per hour or per day you can charge to your customer. Okay. So uh, this is the what new on the uh, rental application. There is a more thing if you can debug, then you can give uh, the accurate information about the uh, rental analysis, and you can just filter out based on the number of order or based on the product. You can uh, just. Give the detail information over here. In the some of the uh, cases, the customer want after the order, the customer wants some more product. Then you can also uh, deliver the products more uh, quantity to your customer. Okay, so this is the what rental application. You can see this basic sales order. Uh, so based on the sales order, this uh, new application has been created. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching.